drop it on me. I'm ready to release my weapons of peace. Yeah, yeah. All across the land, I know I can. We, could we are here at the Alliant Energy Center for the annual Black Women's Wellness Day, and it's the second year that it's been held here in Madison. And Carmen Kerr and I were both on the planning committee. Didn't we have fun on that committee? It was wonderful. Oh, it has just been a ball. Absolutely. And Carmen, tell me, why do you think this day is so important? This is an important day because we are here learning about black women's wellness. And many of us have ailments that we need to change. We need to get healthy. We need to learn how to adjust our eating, our well-being, and work out. And we need to be productive and do what we need to live. There are many women that are are here at this uh, wellness day and here is Sina Davis. Sina, tell me what is important about this day? It is an honor to be here surrounded by women of color, black women, positive women, role models. Absolutely. Um, what we know is that there are many disparities when it comes to health and so what are women finding out here? What kind of resources are here? Oh, we have many resources here. We're learning to continue to learn how to get food for thought, learning how to work out and to exercise our bodies and our mind because we are the head of household. So we are the leaders in our community and in our families. So it's important for us to empower ourselves so we can empower our children. It has been so much fun walking around and talking to all these wonderful, beautiful women that are here. And I'm talking to Evelyn Burns, who we won't say how far we go back, will we, Evelyn? But we go way back. Evelyn, why is this important for all generations of women? Because as a senior, we have more medical problems and human problems than the average individual. So the quicker we find out more about our bodies and the drugs that we're taking, the better it is for you, the individual. Absolutely, and you know, we're living longer. Yes. And so we have uh, more days to be on this earth. And so we need to be healthy and we need to enjoy each day. Yes. And another reason why I'm here is because I want to talk about sickle cell because it seems the abrupt medical disease among blacks and we need to get up on top of that because we got a lot of young kids that are coming up with babies and we need to find out from the beginning if they're going to have the traits or if they're going to have the disease if they had a mate that was a trait I mean was a, a carrier like I am because I'm a carrier. Well, Evelyn, thank you. Thank you for all that you have done in this community over the years. And thank you for being here. And I know that you've probably encouraged your sisters yes. to come here. So yes. thank you. She's here. Uh, absolutely. Okay. I'm now talking to another member of the planning committee. And Pam Bracey is very involved in this community. She is the, give me your title, because I know you're at the Northeast Coalition for the Elderly. I'm, I'm in, I have the African American Culture Diversity Group for the seniors in Dane County. And everybody, everybody enjoys all the work that you do. Why is this day so important, especially for those of us who are getting up there in age and are more mature? Well, with my program, we keep up with health and get out socially. And so a program like this is doing both of those things for them. And I have a big group. I think I have about 22 here today that are happy to be here. Absolutely. And I think one of the, th one of the things that um, I think is so great is the blend, the blend of generations, the blend of professions, right. and the fact that we are all here connecting with each other and really uplifting and uh, talking about how important it is to be healthy. Yes, that's good. It is. So it thank is. you, Pam, and we'll let you get back to what you okay, were doing. Okay, thank you. So, you know, I've been talking to a lot of women, young and old, who um, are here for this very important day. Tell me, why is this, why did you come here? Just to get more education about, um, you know, heart disease and all, all the things that um, 
that women, black women suffer from and why, why we the highest rate on a lot of illnesses and stuff. So I just want to get more education and I brought my daughter along so she can get educated as well. Oh, you know, and that's so important and I just love the idea that you brought your daughter. We have to educate our daughters. We have to educate them about the what kinds of things are in their families and what they can do to prevent certain things. So tell me why you came here besides the fact that your mom brought you. <laughs> I also came because I want to learn different things. I heard that they had different groups. You could sign up for a couple of different things and just get more educated, not other than just health things, you know, all types of relationship, financing, and other things. So that's why I came. Well, I'm so glad to have talked to you. And you know what? You are going to really enjoy this day. There are lots of fun and educational and things to learn and many women to connect to. So thank you. Okay, thank you. We are now in the marketplace and we're talking to different resources that are here. And I am now talking to Tamina and she is with the Madison Area Home Birth Midwives. She's also connected to Access Community Health Center. Am I right? Yes. So, tell me why you wanted to be here and a part of this marketplace. Well, I had heard about the Black Women's Wellness Day through the Alliance for a Healthy South Madison, and I think it's so important to talk about midwifery care and home birth as options for women in the community, but specifically for women who women of color um, who don't typically access our services. And so, I want to just do outreach and make sure that we're present at the table and that we're talking about the messages that um, we can. Absolutely, absolutely important. Um, have you have you gotten people stopping by and talking to you? Yes, so many people have said that they used midwives either in the hospital or home births in different parts of the country. So it's been so great to hear their stories about how they were treated well and respectfully. Um, some people have talked a little bit about breastfeeding and how breastfeeding has gone well for them. So it's been wonderful, so much support here. It really has been. And one of the things that I'm so impressed with are the uh, cross generations. We have generations here. We have young women. We have younger l girls. And, and we have older women. We have everything in between. How important is it for everyone to get this information? Absolutely. I think, you know, the things that we have at the table today include things like a reproductive health assessment to reduce your exposure to environmental toxins. And those, so even though that's good for pregnant women and nursing moms, it's really important for everybody to reduce their exposure to toxic chemicals. So it's been so great to have a generational impact here. It really has been. So thank you, Tamina. Thank you for you all you do. And um, I'll be talking with you soon. That sounds great. Thank you so much for having us here. Haywood, you're one of a few men here at the Black Women's Wellness Day. Yes. How important is this? It's very important to me. You know, as a young man, I grew up with mom and dad and uh, Risman from Macon, Georgia, and had a lot of support, and we were very interested. We know that home starts with mom, so we wanted to get out and provide some information and a service that would benefit the household and benefit the mothers of uh, Dane County and beyond. Yeah, and we do know that there are so many health disparities that black women suffer from that coming to this kind of an event really does shed some light on some of the things that are preventable, how they can, you know, eat better. We've got some financial literacy stuff here. Yeah. It's just a wealth of information. Definitely. And so we're honored to be a part of it. I'm across from the Madison Black Chamber of Commerce, which we're a proud member of. We had a chance to meet some very interesting vendors that offer different perspectives on health and wellness and just trying to find a way in that we can get the message through and improve the health and wellness, especially of the black women here in Madison and beyond. Exactly. So, Haywood, t uh, look into the camera and tell people how they can come to, to Fitness Plus. Fitness Plus. We just partnered with uh, the Resilience Research Center, thanks to Ms. Cora White, and we're working with Grow Empowers. So we're at 501 East Badger Road, and that's just across from Badger Bowl here in Madison, Wisconsin. We provide holistic on Sundays at 1.30 with juicing every Sunday, and that's the good juices, fruits and vegetables uh, that's free to the public for now. And uh, so we welcome you out. Absolutely. Is there a number? It's 608-957-4153. Thank you, Haywood. Thank you. I love running into Cora White, 
who is everywhere in this community. She has consistently over the years made great, great contributions and here she is at the Black Women's Wellness Day. What do you think about this day, Cora? Betty, I think it's wonderful. It's just great. This is something that I encourage every woman to come to. Don't wait until you're my age or older. Come out when you're young. Try to take care of your health because once it's gone, there's no replacing it. Absolutely, and there are lots of resources here. There are lots of people, and people, I mean, the energy in this room is just phenomenal. I know, it's just fantastic. I am so excited. I had my daughter and her friend to come up from Chicago, and they're equally excited. So happy to be here. And I mean, just, I run into so many people that I know, people I haven't seen in years, some I haven't seen in 30 years. And it's just amazing, you know, they walk up to me and, and I'm looking, trying to think, you know, who they are. And they're talking about how wonderful it is to be here. This is just, Lisa has done a magnificent job. And I am trying to do everything I can to support her. Absolutely. You and I both. I, um, I, I really feel like her leadership is important, her vision, and she really do, does know how to carry it out. So... We're all going to be here to cheer her on. Thank you, Betty, and I'm so glad to see you. It's good to see you always because you're one of the pioneers in this neighborhood, in this community, in fact, in Madison, and I'm trying to follow in your footsteps. <laughs> well, we'll follow each other. Thank you, Cora. Thank you, Betty. We continue our rounds in the marketplace. I'm standing here at the table of author Sherry Lucille. Important for you to be here. Well, it's important for me to be here today because this is women's wellness. And I think wellness covers all aspects. It covers physical, mental, spiritual. And so I'm just happy to be a part of this, you know, the, a positive event for us to um, emphasize our wellness and getting our lives into purpose.